Now to our special Your Town segment. Each summer we travel to well, area towns, cities, villages. We're looking for what makes them unique. And this week we're focusing on the area of Fayetteville and Manlius. You know, it's a furniture factory in Manlius with a rich history. Yeah, tonight to look at just how Stickley Furniture got its start and how the company has grown over more than a century to become part of the Fayetteville and Manlius communities. Hands hard at work with every polish, staple, and screw to make the iconic Stickley Furniture you see today. Early American piece is called the Cherry Valley Collection. Mm -hmm. People around here may also know Stickley for its arts and crafts product, what we also call that mission. But this has been a um, just a part of the fiber of Fayetteville and now of Manlius and the entire area since 1900. It all started with five brothers and one passion. Gustav Stickley started a factory in Eastwood area in 1890s. Then in the 1900s, Leopold and his younger brother, John George Stickley, bought and expanded an already existing chair factory in Fayetteville. It soon became a place to manufacture their own signature furniture. Today, the second floor is a museum to soak in the rich history. More than 50 years later, Leopold died and left the company to his second wife, Louise. Louise carried the company until 1974 when she was forced to go bankrupt or to sell. That's when she reached out to a good friend, Alfred Audi, and his wife. Now their son, Edward, is the president of the company. My father and my mother really rebuilt this company. They saved it from the brink. And I think that in my father's wildest dreams, he, he wouldn't have believed it would be as successful as it is or grown as much and he and my mother were just such a tremendous team. A team that expanded from 22 employees in 1970s to three factories and 17 showrooms today. But beyond each design, there's a story. Now, you see how beautiful it is? Yes, the yeah. factory houses skilled crafters from around the world constructing one of a kind handmade pieces. So we speak different language. You just saw that, and he don't speak English. Well, me too. My sons do have problem now with they speak English, but I try. Same with all the first, and they try, and the best. I try my best, and we all get together and put the best for the stick. Today, with each stroke and yeah. intricate attention to detail, the family name carries through central New York and beyond. We're working with your hands every day. We see a different multiple. There's 100 different pieces every day. We're not strictly on one piece. We just go from different variety. Just seeing the end result is just... It's just great. Creating pieces of furniture that are simple and unique with a mission to establish roots within your home to pass along from generation to generation. Reporting in Manlius, I'm Kelly Curtin. It's a wonderful family story. It, it really is, and it's great to see the, the ownership of the employees, the craftsmen who are doing the work. Yes. You know, we're doing it for Stickley. And I love the Stickley furniture that we have in our home. You know, they really are pieces that you will pass on for generations. Yeah, it is. Our so. coverage continues all week in the Fayetteville Manlius area. Make sure to watch our special Your Town live broadcast this Friday on NBC3. Starting at 5 o'clock, we'll see you live from Green Lakes.